Today, ChatGPT has introduced something called Record Mode, which allows you to record your meetings, brainstorms, and ideas, and notes, all through the macOS app. We're going to explore what it does, how it works, and everything you need to know. So, just some disclaimers. This new record mode is only available through macOS. It is also only available for Plus, Pro, uh, Team, Enterprise, and EDU uh, ChatGPT members. So those who get access will be able to use this up to 120 minutes of recording at this current time. Obviously that's subject to roll out, but just so that you're aware. So before we begin, if you're interested in browsing Stacks, it's our brand new place to explore what tools other people use. You can find it linked below if you're interested. A great way to find out what other people in your industry are using for apps. So record mode lives down here. And once you press it, it will start recording in the background. Now I've already given this permission for systems recording and naturally it'll be able to record my uh, audio locally or not locally fully uh, as in on device, but not necessarily without internet. So it's great for meetings, uh, personal notes or just ideas and brainstorms as you're able to use it in the background. Looking at the privacy elements of this, ChatGPT um, really enforce uh, that they want consent when users record and audio is deleted after the transcription. There is also a statement about uh, this that enterprise EDU and team data is excluded from the model training by default. However, those on the pro and plus pans, that transcription will be used for training data. So that's obviously very important to note. So in terms of referencing this information for future, if you've enabled the ability to recall past recordings and summaries to help answer future questions, this can be turned off in settings and in the personalization area and will help you to essentially uh, be able to reference it for future. So if you have a meeting and you record it using ChatGPT, then in the future, it's gonna be able to remember all of that context that you recorded on. So as you can see, I've pressed stop and I can go ahead and press resume or send. Now in a moment, what it's going to do is, is produce a summary for me, allowing me to understand what that meeting was about. In this case, it was just me rambling on to you guys about the detail. So as you can see here, the meeting note comes up and you can see the time date and the overall summary. You can also see the key points, much like you would inside of any of the other AI meeting tools on the market. You can also go up here and open something called canvas mode, which is basically like a document that you can then uh, build on and add more details on. Now, what's interesting here is you also get timestamps of when that was related to, and also the ability to edit as well. You could also expand on something or edit it using the prompts there. So is this useful for you? If you use ChatGPT a lot, then yes. It's gonna be a great way to set the recordings up so that you can start using it and benefiting from all of the knowledge that you're sharing with it. However, for those on the Pro and Plus plan, it's important to note that this data is trained on uh, the, well, it's basically trained on all of that you say. So if you're recording personal, private, or client meetings, they will be used to train the data. But if you are on the Enterprise EDU and Team data accounts, apparently it's by default that you are excluded from the model training data. So just be aware of that. This is a great new addition to ChatGPT and it's at no additional cost. You can record up to 20 minutes of recordings, but it's at your own risk, <laughs> like everything with AI. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, if you wanna check out Stacks, you can find it linked below if you're interested and more details will be in the description below. Thanks so much for stopping by. Do subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio for now.